Hello friends, welcome to slide. Today in this lesson, we will learn about QTAC and LocoTAC. First, we are going to learn QTAC. HTML QTAC defines a short quotation. If you want to put a sentence within a double quote, then you can use QTAC. Let's see how to use this tag in a document and how it's looked to the web page. This is an HTML document. You can see here inside the body tag I have write some text. Let's save this document and refresh the web page. And you can see here the text is display here. Now I want to put this part inside the double code. So I'm going to write here opening Q tag and here closing Q tag. Save this document and refresh the browser. You can see here the text is appear inside the double quote. The next thing is if you want you can use more than one Q tag in a document. I'm going to write here another Q tag. Save it. Refresh the browser and you can see here this is also work. Okay, next we are going to learn block code element. Block code element is used to define a section of text that is taken from another source. For example, you want to add a passage or paragraph to your document from another page or website. In such case, you have to put the passage inside the block code element. Block code element indent both the left and right margin on the display means it adds some space to the left and right of the text so that the user can easily understand that this is the block coded section or this part is taken from another source. Let's see a practical example. This is an HTML document. You can see here inside the body tag I write here two paragraphs. Let's check the output. Save it. Refresh the browser. And this is our output. Now I'm going to open a website and I'm going to copy this part from here and paste to my HTML document. Save the document, refresh the browser. You can see here all the three paragraphs are displayed in the same way. Now I'm going to put second paragraph inside the block code element. I'm going to add here opening block code tag. And here closing block code tag. Save it. Refresh the browser. You can see here second paragraph is displayed in some different way from other two paragraphs. First and last paragraphs are started here and ended here. But second paragraph starting point is here and ending point is here. Means it adds some space automatically to its left and right side. By seeing this, user can easily understand it is a block coded section and it is taken from another source. The next thing is block code element takes an attribute named site. Site attribute takes the URL of the source page on the website from where the text is copied. I copied the text from here and this is the URL of this page. So I'm going to copy it and paste here. Save it. Refresh the browser. You can see here there is no changes in the output. Because side attributes just used to inform the browser from where the text is copied and it can be used by the search engine to get more information about the quotation. There is another advantage of using side attribute. Sometimes it may happen we work on a document and then close it. Few months later, when we open it again, we can't remember from where the text is copied. But if we use the side attribute, we can easily remember the source page. That's all. Hope you understand. If you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section. 
I'll be back soon. Till then, take care and keep learning.